Dave Abrams. And I'm Kristen Legato. Welcome to Anne Arundel County Week in Review. In this episode, we'll preview the Fall Festival at Kinder Park and talk to a leading advocate for recovery from addiction. But first, making headlines this week. For the second show in a row, we are announcing a closure that is actually a good thing. Eisenhower Golf Course, a great affordable option to play golf for 50 years, is closing its gates for a major makeover. This week, regulars stop by for one last chip shot on the course before the $5 million restoration project begins to replant grass, redesign bunkers, replace the clubhouse and cart barn, and much more. County Executive Steve Shue joins some of the folks who know a whole lot about the history of the golf course, including Mr. Al Green. Steve? Okay, I'm here with local golf legend Al Green. <laughs> he was the first golf pro ever employed here at Eisenhower Golf Course. Al, thank you very much for uh, joining us hey, this thank morning. You, buddy. Uh, thank you very so, much. so tell us what are some of the memories that stand out from your time oh, back in the old days? Man, good gracious. Just just like I started working here when they first started building the golf course. I started in sixty seven building it and we finally got it open in sixty nine. And man, I mean, just was the first local golf course that everybody could play on as, as a public golf course, the only one in the county really that when it originally opened it. And we just, you know, we, we, we tried to make everything work and it was really going good for, you know, for a while there. And like right now, it's, it looks a little different <laughs> than what it was back then. But I, yeah. you know, I've done a lot of playing here. And, and uh, like I hold the course record here, I'd say like 61 or something. I, I heard that. That was going to be my next question. Yeah, but well, that's when I could play. 61. So how, what's par is 72? 71. 71. Yeah. So 10 birdies. It's only 10 below par. I do that all the time. But I played quite a bit, too. Yeah, I played quite a bit. I remember do you still play? I, I still play, but I have, I'm not playing that much right now because I've been had some surgery done on my back. Oh, okay. Right now. okay. So I'm sitting back the rest of the year and then... Uh, Looking forward to next year. I mean, you know, That's yeah. great. Yeah. That's great. But the golf course is a. I mean, it, I think personally that's probably one of the best layouts in the area. I mean, for a golf course, because of course has. Anytime you got like the front nine or the back nine now, you've got like three threes, three fours, and three fives. You know, and that that makes it makes makes for a difference. There. Every other yeah. hole, once you walk off number eleven, you go three four. I mean five three five three five three, and that's tough. You know, yep. But yep. it's a great golf course. Got nothing wrong with the golf course. It's just so glad to see you guys coming in and gonna do some work on it and get it done like it should be done. But man, what a, what a great, what a, what a great, great thing for the people. But it's gonna be good. Oh, it's gonna be fantastic. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Well, thank well, you very thank much. Thank you very much, man. Good to see you. It. Good to see you. Al Green. Hi. I'm so in, in love with, with you. Wait, not the same Al Green? Whatever you not the same. want. No, not the same not guy. Not the same Al. No. Okay. Good guy, though. Awesome guy. Yes. Awesome, awesome guy. guy. Many golfers are looking forward to the reconstructed sixth hole. The 406-yard par four has been annoying golfers for years because it doglegs to the left and requires two forced carries. Plus, the fairway is inconsistent. You know what I mean, Dave? Are you serious right now? I'm so serious. That was amazing. That's all par for the course. She knows about <laughs> golf too. Wow. The golf course is expected to be open for business in 2020. Four. Four. <laughs> Watch out for the bunker. <laughs> How are your golf skills? Can you get I, it through I'm the windmill? I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm terrible at golf. Um, I haven't really tried a whole lot, but there is there's a place down in um, Virginia Beach called uh, top golf. Okay. And it's like a giant ski ball course. Oh, cool. And you just stand in this booth and just drive balls and try and get them into the different oh, spots and you get points. That and of course fun. they serve you beverages and drinks. Like and it's, water or orange juice. It's, it's really cool. Yeah. I had fun there, but I've never actually like done a full golf course before. Sounds like you, you need a field segment. Um, I've gone to a driving range, but haven't played. Yeah. I guess we, we need yeah. to learn. I did. There's a, a golf course at my college campus, so I did take it as a class. So above that, I'm not really. What grade skilled. did you get? I got an A. Did you get a par? <laughs> ah, oh, so cheesy. <laughs> yeah. Well, the annual Hispanic Health Festival and Community Resource Fair was another big success this year. More than 1,300 people attended the event at Heritage Community Church in Severn. The event had everything, access to free medical services, great food, a kid's corner, and lots of entertainment. County Executive Shu welcomed everyone attending and spoke about the importance of the Latino community in Anne Arundel County. 
We are a nation of immigrants whose contributions have shaped the character of America, and we are committed to ensuring that the diversity of our county is reflected in its government. And that is why we continue to reach out and inform all of our residents. This is a good time to mention that our Spanish show, Bienvenidos, airs once a month and you can watch it on YouTube. There are several ways to access our materials online in Spanish as well. You can scroll to the bottom of our homepage at aacounty.org and click on the Google Translator, or you can go to aacounty.org slash Espanol, which means Spanish, Kristen. I know what that means. Oh, you already knew that? Good, so give me some Spanish. Oh. Say habla? Yeah. Really? Really? Okay. That's close. What is it? Yeah. The H is kind of silent in Spanish. Say habla there, espanol. There you go. Much better. Like a champ. Jalapenos, like a champ. rellenos, chili rellenos. <laughs> Muy deliciosa. <laughs> Everything I know I've learned from Cardi B. <laughs> it's all food. I'm better with French. Oh, really? Yeah, I took French in school. Oh, My sister did Spanish. She could rock it right now. When I was in France, it was merci, uh, bonjour, and uh, what's the one in the evening you say bonjour different? Bonsoir. Bonsoir. See, I forgot already. Yeah. That's all I could do. Yeah. I'm not good at France. I, I need to practice on that. We, we should probably learn some more of both languages. Let's speak Spanish and play golf. I love this plan. Oh, French. Let's speak French and play golf. French, Spanish, and it's golf. French, Spanish, and golf. Yeah, I love this. We need to make that happen. Oh, yeah. Um, cuatro. <laughs> huh? Um, cuatro and cuatro. That didn't sound very French. Cuatro, yeah. We'll, we're, we'll learn it. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna learn it. We're gonna work on that. All right. Okay. You might not know that there are several opportunities to enter law enforcement out there, including working as a detention officer. The department is hiring right now. Take a look at what Officer Will Spivey said about the job. The job that I do is really about people skills. If you can diffuse a situation and, uh, and create an idea that this is a place where we have discipline, but you're safe here, and that we're really here for your best interest. You, you've done something, you've been convicted of something, and sometimes not even convicted, just being held. So we want you to feel like, okay, this is discipline, but we're not here to put our thumb on you and you're under our boot. We're just trying to get our job done and make sure you're safe, make sure that everyone else around you is safe. If you want to find out more, go to our homepage at aacounty.org and click on the spotlight for detention officers. You can earn a good salary, a $5,000 signing bonus, Great health benefits and three days off each and every week. Go check it out. Check it out. I remember what it is. What? For, and you should know this, Mr. Highland. It's oh. cat. Cat is four? Four in French. But, but Chuck, oh, is, duh, Chuck is whispering cat. in my ear right now that cat. technically when you yell four at a, at a golf course, it's not F-O-U-R, it's F-O-R-E. It's F-O-R-E. Like, I'm coming at you. So like what? before. There's a ball about to hit you in the head. Four. Yes, it's So right. we'll have to it's not, it's not look up the French part. even more. Yeah. But we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get, it. we'll get there. It's no big deal. Yeah. The French don't care. They're not upset with us. Well, we're going to take a quick break, but when we return, we'll talk to Angel Trainer about recovery activities in Anne Arundel County. Take a look at our community calendar for events happening around town, and we'll be right back. that can keep us safe. Those we use all the time with hardly a thought. Those that are silently standing by to save our lives. And now, those that we carry with us everywhere we go. Many mobile devices will now bring you wireless emergency alerts, real-time information directly from local sources you know and trust. With the unique sound and vibration, you'll be in the know wherever you are. Well, welcome back. Joining us in the studio this week, we're delighted to have back our friend Angel Trainer, who is the founder and director with Serenity Sisters. Angel, welcome back to the studio. Thank you. Thanks for having me. We're happy to have you back, but if folks didn't catch you on the first go around when you were here, tell us first how you got your name. I would attribute that to my grandmother. So my name is Angela, but I've been Angel since the day I was born, and it just stuck. And it's, it's so true. It's so, it's so true to your form, yes. Yeah. 
Well, and then when you think about my last name being trainer, trainer. and then what I do for a living now, that's what I do. Ah. I train angels. Yeah, and tell us about Serenity Sisters. Yes. Serenity Sisters, um, we offer supportive housing in Anne Arundel County and Annapolis for individuals who have suffered from substance use issues. Uh, once they get out of treatment, they come to us and really learn how to live again and reintegrate into the community. Fantastic. And how are you involved in the recovery movement? Aside from Serenity Sisters, what other kinds of programming are you doing? Or So I'm also the coordinator of Recovery Anne Arundel, and what we do um, is we strive every day to reduce the stigma um, for substance use disorders, and not just the substance use disorders, but also for recovery, because we all know what addiction looks like, but do we really know what recovery looks like? That's a good and point. we just try to put that out there. Yeah. And tell us a little, I know we only have a short time in this show, mm -hmm. but tell us a little bit of your backstory, what got you involved in this? How did you get so I'm, I'm the Anne Arundel County spokesperson for recovery. I, they just put me there. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> do you wonder angel. sometimes? You wake up and you're like, how do what? I absolutely do wonder that sometimes. But um, what I can tell you is that I'm a person in long-term recovery. And what that means for me is I've not found it necessary to use um, alcohol or drugs in a little over 11 years now. The 33 years. Thank you, thank you. The 33 years before that though, all bets were off. So I completely understand the struggle of um, active addiction and I just, I just wanna help people find recovery and sustain their recovery. Tell us a little bit, um, September was Recovery Awareness Month? September is, right? is National National Recovery Month. Uh -huh. um, the last six weeks has been a whirlwind. Yeah, you've been busy. I've been very busy. Um, and it really kicks off about two weeks before the end of August because National Recovery Month starts on August the 31st, which is International Overdose Awareness Day. So Recovery Anne Arundel, we host a candlelight vigil. Um, this year has been our third year. And then we kick right off into some other events. Um, the biggest in September, which is our annual recovery walk. This year was the seventh annual, uh, and that's held in downtown Annapolis. Um, but we've done some other things. We've added, we're continuously adding on things um, because we want to get the word out to the community. So this past Monday, we did a meet and greet, a candidate meet and greet, and uh, that was hosted by Recovery Anne Arundel. How'd the walk go? The walk was Looked fantastic. Looked like it went great. It was a beautiful day. Um, it was a new location this year. It was held, we held it in Whitmore Park, which I feel, and I think everybody else did, that it added more to a festival atmosphere. Great. And we had about 400 people. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, big, big things. Uh, some people think it's a waste of time to try and help addicts to get clean. What would you say to them? I would say that's not true. Um, the addicts that I have worked with and that I surround myself with every day are some of the most creative, hardworking individuals that I've ever met. And um, I think that, you know, at the end of the day, we're all human beings, whether we struggle from those issues or not, and we all deserve that chance. Agreed. Anything, any things, lessons you've learned of words of wisdom for how to do it successfully? Because I mean, I'm, I'm sure you see a lot of success and a lot of failure. I do, I do. Um, I would say to the individual that's coming into, that's entering into recovery, just stick with it. Surround yourself with people that are like-minded. Um, take some suggestions. I was 46. I didn't want to listen to anybody for a long time, but I found that once I did listen to other people, people that had the experience and had that sustained recovery, that um, I was far more successful. So that's what I would say to the recovering individual, but to the community, to, to the community members, I would say just get to know somebody in recovery. Just give it a chance. Like you said, we're all human. We're all human. It doesn't human. take much to be humane. That's so. right. How can folks get involved? Where can we find more information about Serenity Sisters? So you can contact us. Um, go onto our website, serenitysisters.org, and um, you can message us through that. You can read a little bit more about the things that we do and find out who we are. See more about events coming up and everything else? Absolutely. Oh, and, and Facebook is Recovery Anne Arundel? 
So if you want to get in touch with Recovery Anne Arundel and you wanted to get involved that way, that is recoveryannarundel.org. Okay. And there, there's a very comprehensive list of um, upcoming events. You are an inspiration. Yes. Thank you. you really Thank are. you so much for being here. And Thank of you. course, we welcome you back anytime. And we would love to hear more about what's going on with you, Serenity Sisters, Recovery Anne Arundel. All right. I'll be back. Thank Very you. Good. We'll be right back with more Week in Review right after this. Don't go anywhere. Let me tell you about the toughest guy on earth. He has the crazy strength to lift the man that raised him up without even flinching. This guy, no, this warrior will always be by his father's side, even if his dad will hardly remember. If this guy isn't the toughest guy on the planet, then I don't know who is. Caregiving is tougher than tough. Find the care guides you need at aarp.org slash caregiving. Welcome back. Fall is, of course, my favorite time of year. And what better place to take in all of the fall colors, the cider, and the flannel shirts than Kinder Farm Park? Pat Daly has more. Pat? Hey, guys. I'm here with Ranger Dan Jansen at Kinder Farm Park to talk about the Kinder Farm Park Fall Festival. Ranger, thanks for joining us. Just a couple questions. What festivities do you have planned this year? So we have a lot going on for the festival. Um, we'll have the uh, tractor hay rides. We'll have pumpkin painting, scarecrow making. Um, we'll also have our corn cannons going this year. Um, we'll also have crafts and games for uh, children. And then there'll be about 15 food vendors, um, both snack and actual meal vendors um, spread throughout the festival. And then we will also have um, a bunch of craft vendors and demonstration vendors. And the Early Heights Volunteer Fire Department will be here as well. So, Great. How many people do you expect? Uh, if it's a beautiful day like today, we'll probably have upwards of 14,000 or more um, for the day of the event. That's incredible. So where are we standing right now? Uh, right now we are in the sawmill, um, that, which will be running the day of the event. That's kind of um, pretty close to the middle of the venue for that day. Um, yeah, so those will be going. Um, they'll have the fire department right over here by the tobacco barn. Um, and then behind us where the large animal barn is where, is where you'll see all of the uh, the craft vendors and everything else going on for the day. Great. And how can residents learn more about the event? Uh, they can go onto the uh, Friends of Kinder Farm Park uh, Facebook page or to their website. Um, they can stop in uh, to the uh, Park Visitor Center. Um, we also have the, uh, the banners out at the front of the park um, with the dates and everything. So. Okay, and that's October 13th. How long does it run for? It's October 13th, which is a Saturday. Um, it runs from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. Okay, family fun. When I don't work eight or nine days a week, Dave, uh, maybe I'll bring my daughter out here and we can have some real family fun. Thanks for joining us, Ranger. Back to you guys. Thanks, Pat. Kinder Farm will be packed, so reserve your spot now. I love it over there at Kinder Park. It's awesome, and this Beautiful. thing is like like cars lined up oh, man. every year. Everyone looks forward to the Fall Harvest Fest. Yeah. Great crowd, great time, just like someone's wedding over the weekend. Yeah! How are you doing, Mr. Highland? <laughs> I am doing good. I'm in the, the post-wedding bliss. I got, yeah. my, got my ring. Yes, you got your ring. Walking around saying, my wife this, my wife that. You got, we both have rings now. I know. Hey. We are off the you market. You got that post-wedding So glow? just forget about it, people. Yeah. We're old and married here on Week in Review. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so. so it was a great party. Yeah, you, you liked it? Yes, you had a beautiful ceremony. This was at Tabrizi's, and it was outside on the water, and it was a gorgeous day. Perfect for an outdoor wedding. Shout out to Michael Tabrizi. Shout out. He did an awesome Shout job. Shout out. It was a great time, and Will and I were honored to be there, and you guys look great. I snapped a few photos. Ooh. I wanted to make sure I could share with folks here. Very nice. It was a beautiful, beautiful day. Do You uh, you danced. You did not sing, but I did you not danced. sing. I did not sing. Um, I danced yes. plenty. Yeah. Well, it was good selection. It was great to have everyone there. It was great to have the whole family there. Yeah. Um, I, I I had a very small family, and I have an extremely large family, so that's very cool. Yeah. And um, you know, one thing I noticed, you know how I am. I'm kind of I, I pay attention to things. I used of to, used to be a journalist, so I like to be perceptive about sure. things. And at one point, I looked around. Every I swear, Kristen, every plate in the room was empty. Like oh, yeah. people ate really every food. last bite, it and that was, is the mark of a good party. I mean, you did the the Maryland thing, you did the crab cake. The Maryland cakes, thing, yep. All the, the out-of-towners were like, oh my God, like I had a crab cake, yeah, it's the best thing I've ever cake, done. Yeah, yep. it was It was spot on. Yeah, well, there you go. I really Drop the mic, it. we just dropped the dropped mic after the mic. that. 
Yeah, uh, so how did you guys feel the day after? Were you refreshed and ready to go? We're a couple now, or are you like, nothing's changed? Uh, we were exhausted. Yeah, you're exhausted. <laughs> I remember waking up going, I don't have to fill out a spreadsheet today. I don't have to call a vendor. I don't have to pay anyone anything. It's a great like, feeling. Oh, wow. I mean, it was the, the one thing I think that we realized after it was all over is maybe a wedding coordinator would have been a good idea. I would have done it. But no, we did it all ourselves. I would have done it for you. We did everything ourselves. Tell me your favorite moment. I mean, of course, my 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 favorite moment was the end of the vows and the having my new bride right there with me. She looked beautiful. I know I was gonna say your first look. Unbelievably beautiful. Kat my goodness. Incredible. I was wow. gonna say your first look might have been your wow, favorite. Wow, I could not. I was I was knocked over. Yeah. Um, you were excited when it was all all the legal stuff was out of the way. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, so many great moments. It was it was great from start to finish. Um, you can't you can't plan the weather, and the weather was yeah. great. So, and, and, was, and I heard there were 28 weddings in the city of Baltimore insane. this weekend. 28 weddings. Think about that. Yeah. I mean, it's funny. Like all the vendors, they talk, and they were all talking about how there were so many weddings, and ours started late because there was a problem with a shuttle from the hotel, and it turned out the whole city was like gridlocked, gridlocked because of all the limos shuttles. and buses from yeah. weddings trying to get around town. Isn't that funny? That is funny. That is funny. <sighs> and it was great to see um, show alum Eric Roby. Shout, Shout out, out Roby. Eric Roby, groomsman. We got to catch extraordinaire. up. Extraordinaire. He groomsman did a great job. Extraordinaire. Yeah. And I thought that uh, your whole wedding party, they were great. Thank you, yeah. thank you. They were. Great night. I cannot thank them enough. They were so fantastic. I mean, both of us have lifelong friends. I yeah. mean, these people have been our friends for decades and decades. And they were just, I couldn't. They want to support you. They, they were so there. amazing. I mean, up. they did everything. And we are going to pay for it for the rest of our lives. Oh, that's what they're that's friends okay. for. That's a, you know, no payment necessary. That's right. I will babysit your children. <laughs> and I'll do a good job. There you go. Well, that wraps up this week's edition of Week in Review. You can watch this episode and archive episodes online anytime on Facebook or YouTube by simply searching for Arundel TV. Please tune in again next week for more highlights and news from around the county. We'll see you next time.